Hi guys! I'm going to show you a little quick and easy hair tutorial today for one of my go-to summer hairstyles, the ponytail. Your regular ponytail is really not all that cute and definitely can get kind of boring. So I just wanted to show you guys simple little things that you can do to change up your ponytail that are really quick and easy that definitely make it look a little bit more stylish. So one of the easiest things that you can do with a ponytail is just add a simple part. Um, depending on your face shape or just typically how your hair lays, it's easy to either just, you know, do a simple middle part or for me, I really like to part my hair on the side. So it's just as quick and easy to part your hair on the side and then you can either pull it back into a low pony or go up and do a high pony to really keep your hair off the back of your neck and obviously you can go a little bit more messy um, if you have shorter pieces like I do have layers you can either wear your layers out or like I said my main reason for wearing a pony is because I don't want my hair touching me so you know quick and easy with a little bobby pin just keep the layers pulled back and this way you have something that's a little bit more interesting and not just pulled back into the the workout ponytail a second ponytail that I like to do in the summer is um, a braided pony. To do the braided pony, you just make sure you have a side part. I like to go more of a deeper part when I do a braid in it, um, just so that I have a little bit more hair going over. So you make a little bit of a deeper side part. When I do a, a braided in the pony, I like to kind of just take a section here in the front um, I don't really use a comb or anything to section it off, like I said, because you will, you'll see that part line in your ponytail. So what I try to do is just take kind of a section of hair here that I'm planning on braiding, and I kind of pull it to the front, and then take all the hair that's going to be in the ponytail, and sort of pull it back out of the way, so I can kind of see the direction that makes sense that the braid is going to go um, just so that when you're braiding you can see what direction your hair is going to be going now don't mind the whole situation that I have going here just kind of to get your hair out of the way when you're braiding um, so as long as you know how to braid your own hair you're good to go for this one so just kind of grab your little section in the front and as you can see, I have pretty short um, hair in the front because I have layers. So my braid is not going to be that long. So the two options that you kind of have with this is if you have a short braid like I do, you're going to have to basically... Um, use a bobby pin and pin your braid backwards. Um, if you have a nice long braid, you can use these little tiny, I don't know if you can see them, they're like little rubber bands. If you ever had braces, you'll know what I'm talking about, like those little tiny rubber bands that you used to have to put on your braces. They're little tiny rubber bands. So if you have a nice long braid that's actually going to make it into your ponytail, you know, just use a little elastic at the end of it and let it go down into your ponytail. So once I have the braid, you know, going in the right direction, I kind of just go back and just try and um, make my ponytail look a little bit neater here. Um, you know, obviously... I'm not doing this really in front of a mirror, I'm doing it in front of the camera. So yours will be quite a bit more neater. And you know what? Messy isn't always bad either. So, can you see it? Hopefully you can see it there. 
but it kind of just pulls, especially if you do have, you know, shorter bangs or you have shorter layers in the front, it's a great way to get those off your face without having to just clip them back. You can kind of braid them into the ponytail like I did. And it just adds, a, like I said, a little bit more interest to your ponytail rather than just pulling it straight back. So that is the second version of a quick and easy ponytail that you can do. I hope I gave you some good ideas of ways to change up your ponytail for the summer. And if you'll leave me a comment and let me know what you think, I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.